Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a look in on the sign of Taurus. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so if they apply, that's awesome, and if they don't, you know what to do with it. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info is in the box below. There is still time to get in on the contest to win a free hour long reading, a free half hour reading, or a mystery healing box done by Crystal and myself. All you gotta do is make a $5 donation to my channel and you are in. So, enough saying, my bulls. Let's see what's going on thus far in June 2018. Well done, my bulls. Taurus, if you're after something, you set your intentions. Whatever you're after, you're going to get it. Let's get into this. Bottom of the deck. My bulls. There you are. The queen of pentacles. King, queen, don't matter, it's an energy. But somebody who's practical, methodical, a realist, doesn't sugarcoat anything. Grounded. Sees things for how it really is. And I can see that here. So, let's get it. My bulls, we're going to start off with getting the glare off this. <laughs> you have the eight, of, not eight, excuse me, six of pentacles. The even exchange of generosity. You always make sure that, you know, you're receiving as much as you're giving. And what's crossing, I don't know if you can see that. You have the six of swords, the moving away. Going to a better situation. Calm waters, so they say. So my bulls, if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't seem like it's fair. Like you're getting you're not getting your fair share. It's time to, you know, turn it loose. Walk away from it. Cause I think now <laughs> speaking of walking away from it, it's so funny. Because uh, right under the Queen of Pentacles, I don't know if you can see the glare, you get the Three of Wands. This is taking that course of action, which would be, you know, leaving this thing behind. It's not fair. Okay? And going to something that brings your ship in. Under this, you get death. Because something needs to change. This situation needs to change. In my bulls, because you are practical, grounded, methodical. You're seeing things how it really is. You're not having it. If something is unfair, you're going to find something that is more fair. Because in your foundation, my bulls, you have the nine of cups. Here's the yes card. Here's a wish being fulfilled. Nine being close to riding that unicorn. It's in your foundation. So, my bulls, it seems to me that you have not lost sight of whatever this wish is. It's in plain view. And if this even exchange of give and take wasn't so even, you ain't waiting around for it to get even. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, this decision... You know, is easily made because what's crowning your whole reading here, my bulls, is the Eight of Swords. And this is overthinking something that's self-imposed mind prison that you put yourself in. Thinking about something over and over again. But my bulls, you know, worrying is wasted energy. What do you get after worrying? A headache with no Tylenol. <laughs> Turn one sword upside down, positive. The rest will fall. You're not really trapped, Taurus. Now, in your recent past, you have the King of Swords. Here's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius-like person. 
somebody can take on these properties. You know, and this is somebody, you know, who's very direct, focused. Emotions are in the back seat. Can be kind of cold. And maybe this is the person that, you know, it ain't cutting it with. Gets to go. Better things in the horizon. Because my bulls, when you do this, going into your future, there's a victory. Six of wands. Overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from a battle and being victorious. Like I said, it might not be easy. But you know what's right for you. And staying in a, you know, a lopsided situation, whether this is a friendship, partnership, business ship, love ship, any ship. Especially if you don't feel it's healthy. It gets to go. Or this person gets to go. Now, how people see you in your environment, my bulls. They see you as the two of pentacles, the juggling act, the pro and con. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? When people see that you're teetering on the edge about this stay and go, people see you're on the fence here. Because, my bulls, if you're trying to be grounded and practical about this as you can, and being fair to yourself, First and foremost, not to stay in a situation, you know, for someone else, for something else that does not benefit you, my bulls. Can I make that decision? Bye. Because you deserve better, Taurus. You deserve better in your environment. There you go. You get that ten of pentacles. You know, having all the material things that you need, having the money to pay your bills and stuff, and then having some money, you know, to enjoy life with. Maybe that's what you wish is, Taurus. Not to be bound, tied, you know, to somebody who comes off cold and distant. It makes you think, you know, what am I doing this all for? Can't even be nice. What's up? But the victory here, I think, my bulls, is moving away from this uneven, you know, situation. Not feeding into it. Not playing with it. Because your hopes and fears, my bulls, you have the queen of wands. Now, here's your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who takes on these qualities. You know, she's creative. Go get it done. Motivated. Passionate. Passionate for what she does. No, again, king, queen, don't matter. My bulls, and I think that this is, you know... Not a person, but I think it's your energy. I think that you're just fired up now. You know? Probably PO'd. Going to put a flame under somebody else. To get them motivated to see. You need the same goals. It can't be, you know, about one. If it ain't for both. <laughs> Bye. Plain and simple. You can't be fair. You can't balance that scale. Sayonara. Now you've probably played nice and stayed grounded and be, you know, all right. Mention it, mention it, mention it. And someone's just, you know, dissing you. Well, we're going to take it serious now. Especially when you get lit up about it, my bulls. Now it's just not about saying it. Now it's about stressing it and doing it and acting on it. 
And this, my bulls, I think, gets you where you want to be. With this person, friendship, kinship, whatever this is. Because your outcome card is a four of wands. Now, this is taking something to the next level. Structure, stability. Here's your shanty, the beginning of your castle. And this one's built on, you know, the firm foundations, the right foundations, the way it was supposed to be. And bringing something stable back into, you know, whatever relationship this is. So my bulls, if you're going to walk away from something that you don't think is fair, you know what you got to do. Don't stress it. Do it. Because when you do, there's a small victory that gets people turning around knowing that, hey, Taurus did it. This, she's not pro and con and throwing it back. She's doing it. Because there's more to life. In your happiness. So my bulls, that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.